What's up, Giants fan? Hey, Volt. What's going on, Ann? Hey, Glenn. What's up, Gabe? Thanks, Volt. <laughs> Sergio, what's up, Braden? What's going on? Hello, Ryan. Can you guys hear me pretty good? Hi, Joey. Hey, sports highlight videos. Harold, what's up? Phoenix, Thomas, Kenneth, Dave, Graves, what's up? Hi, Dylan. All right. So we're going to look, we're going to open this up here in a second. And we're going to see, so we get one autograph rookie or prospect card in this box, I guess. Um, I really don't know what's in here, <laughs> but you're sick and tired of baseball. <laughs> we haven't had any in a long time. Thank you. I hope so too. Hi, Jesse. Uh, no, I've never opened up a pack that I could get my own cards. Um, so, you know, actually, guys, I put all these cards here. But... Hold on, if I can get this one out, sorry. I probably should have put these here. So these are the ones I have so far. So here's a uh, here's a rookie card of mine. Here's a tops rookie card that I have right here. And then, um, hey Cotton Girl, here's an upper deck signed one I have out of uh, what's that? Ninety nine. Yeah, out of ninety nine. And then I've got. Uh, this one right here, another upper deck out of 50. That one is not signed. I guess I could just take it out and sign it if I wanted to. Um, what year is this tops card right here? This, this one right here is a 2009 tops apparently. No, I don't think they need, they don't need my approval. I don't know how that all works. I think when you, I don't even know how it works. Here's an autograph one I have right here, another upper deck. And then this one, it's a printing plate right here, one of one. It's hard to kind of see it, but even in real life, it's hard to see it. That's pretty good, Dominguez card. <laughs> So one, uh, one's the one that found this box right here online. So we'll see. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put these cards back, and then let's, uh, let's open this up. I'm very quiet. I think I'm quiet. I think I'm a little quiet because the. I have to move my microphone away from my face a little bit because uh, if I have it right up against my face, then I can't. I'm in kind of close quarters up here. So, all right, so let's open this up right here. 2007 Bowman. What's uh, the easiest way to open this? There we go. I'm just going to slide it over here a little. All right. Oh man, so the first thing when you open it, you get this rookie scouting report, which, let's see who's on here. Michael Brantley. Um, Kevin Russo. Play with Kevin Russo. Sam Fold. Well, my scouting report isn't even on here, so. Oh my God, there's a lot more in the back, guys. Holy shnikes. Yeah, we don't have to go through reading all of these. Will Venable. Will Venable, buddy of mine, teammate.
Ryan Longoria. Oh, there I am, right there. Here's my name, Matt Antonelli. BP126. All ACC star Wake Forest drafted in the first round in 2006. Makes consistent contact all around athlete. Thanks, Bowman. So that's what we got for a scouting report for me. Kyle Blanks is my other buddy, Kyle. All right, so let's put the scouting report away. At least we got that done. At least they were kind to me. Tops does still make cards, yeah. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to move my microphone up a little higher and a little closer to my face. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Okay, we'll see if that works right there. All right, so this is what... Uh, this is what it looks like in there. We got 24 packs, 10 cards each. So let's open up the first pack here. What if I'm the first? What if the first card we open up is my card? Holy God! I mean, how did they make these back in 2007? I can't even get it open. I mean, I used to be much stronger, but holy crap! All right, here we go. We start off with a Robinson Cano. Man, these guys are going to look so young. Robinson Cano. Little David Ortiz. Mike Piazza. These cars don't look like they're in the... Well, I guess they're all right. Mark Loretta. Craig Biggio. What's this one? We got a John Otnes. I don't even know who that is. Bowman first. Sorry, John. Not sure who you are. We've got a little... Oh, a little Dellen Patances. That's a former teammate of mine. And a Brandon Morrow. Played against Brandon a bunch. Brandon threw hard. Um, Doc Brooks. And a Ryan Mullins. Okay. Ryan Mullins. I feel like I played against Ryan Mullins a lot. Uh, I played with Batances when I was with the Yankees. We were in AAA together. All right, so there's the first pack. Let me uh, put it back here. There's, I don't have a whole lot of room. I'm trying to do this. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say I'm old? <laughs> uh, yeah, we were together in 2012. Uh, my nickname playing... Hi, John. My nickname was uh, nothing crazy. Just usually most of my friends called me Anto. Um, yeah, so I'm in like really... I'm trying to do this at my in my office. And... Uh, Uh, yeah, my YouTube channels definitely help my card value. I'm sure my card value. I, I like. I don't know what they made these out of, but I cannot tear these open. Jeez. I gotta hit the gym. Hey, Rich Durbano. Apple is stuck in three at three fifty right now. I know, huh? And it's 400 times. Sorry, again, back to baseball. Hey, hey, Rich, I love your uh, Apple talk. So I, uh, I'm happy to talk Apple with you every day. Let's see. Kenji Jojima. Josh Fields. Adam Dunn. Why are some of them upside down? David DeJesus. Gary Matthew Juniors. These are 2007. Chase Wright, Bowman first, or first Bowman, however you want to say it. Garrett Simpson. Matthew Clarkson. Doug Deeds. Desmond Jennings. I remember Desmond. Hey, ex-buddy clan. All right, so two 
out of 24 open so far, guys. So far, none of my rookie cards, but that's okay. We got a long way to go. A little Juan Pierre. Nice. Oh, Dontrell Willis, the D train. I played with Dontrell for a year when I was with Baltimore. Nice guy. Scott Olson. Roy Halladay. Now they're upside down again. A little Tory Hunter. And they're upside down again. Scott Deal. Jason Taylor. Ray Aguilar. David Hanel. Oh wow, he looks very young. And Trey Shields. I don't know who the hell any of these guys are. The guy, the guy someplace right now opening up this box is pulling my card saying, I don't know who the hell this guy is. Um, I don't think I knew him. Oh, you're welcome. All right, let's see here. Little Mike Mussina. What's up, Chase? Matt Kemp. Gary Sheffield, yes. Oh, man, my favorite player of all time, or one of my favorite players of all time. Manny Ramirez. Oh, Melvin Mora. Tony Paguero, don't know who that is. Habalito Hernandez. Vic Butler, Brad Knox, and TJ Now. Man, all these young guys are guys that are like, I don't know who they are. What age did I did we start playing Prospect Select as far as like Prospect Select tournaments? <laughs> Very good late night breaks. <laughs> I still can't open these things. Uh, I got these for like, I don't even know what it was. With shipping everything, I think it was 50-something. Brian Roberts, I played with Brian Roberts, Baltimore for a little bit. Jeff Baker. Jeff Baker, the great Clemson grad. Him, Khalil Green. Oh, they were raking. Garrett Atkins. Garrett had a couple of big-time years, had some pop. Victor Martinez, he raked. I did collect baseball cards as a kid. Adrian Gonzalez. I was teammates with Adrian when we were together in San Diego. Oh, a little Derek Lowe. Derek Lowe, I faced him when he was with the Dodgers. He drilled me, actually. 2008, so the year after this card. Where'd he hit me? I can't remember. I think he hit me right in the ass. Irvin Alcantara. Vincent Blue. Eric Liss, and another John Otnes. Sorry again, John. I still don't know who you are. It's okay, though. Uh, Adrian. Adrian might have been first overall. By who was it? The Marlins? Is it the Marlins who drafted him? I can't remember. He is one. Who the hell is he? Did I get mad when he drilled me? No, I don't think so. I'm just happy to 
get my on base percentage above 200. Hey, thanks, Eric. I filmed that last night. <laughs> That'd be awesome if there was a Mark Antonelli card. Jesus Guzman. I remember playing against him a lot, actually. Bill Hall. Oh, man. So, Bill Hall, when I was with the Orioles in 2012, I was finally starting to play a little bit because we called somebody up. And then we signed Bill Hall, who was like 47 years old. And then they told me, like, sorry, Bill Hall's going to play over you. Which, nothing against Bill Hall. I mean, he played in the big leagues for a long time, but... I was like, Jesus, freaking Bill Hall. Jeff Fiorentino. Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent Wright. Ooh, a little chipper. Randy Johnson. Randy was the man. Uh sure, I, I would I would hope that I had would have had a longer one without the injuries. Jack Wilson. Brian Henderson, Aaron Peel. I have a Cody Bellinger card too. Brandon Rice and Jesus Guzman. Uh, I don't think I'm going to send my card to get graded. I don't think it would be worth it. <laughs> Been in the hall. I need like a like a Longoria in here. Who are the other rookies this year? I forget who they were on that checklist, but uh, no, it wasn't a problem with hitting pitchers at that level. It's a misconception. People look at my thing and they go, oh, he just couldn't hit pitchers at AAA. It has nothing to do with AAA pitchers. It had to do with my swing. If I had my swing from 2007 or from like 2010, like in 2010, I hit AAA pitching fine. It wasn't that the AAA pitching was worse. It was just my swing was better. So it has to do with me, not who I'm playing against. Johan Santana. Or my 2020 swing. Lyle Overbay. Tadahito Aguchi. So Tadahito played. I played with Tadahito a little bit. Um, never spoke to him because I don't know if he spoke English. He always had a translator. But I took ground balls with him a lot. Never really talked to him. Albert Pujols. He was pretty good. Hey, HBK Styles. Thanks so much for the super chat. If you find a Bonds, I'll buy it from you. All right. Sounds good. Prince Fielder. Joe Maurer. That guy could hit. Ryan Dunsing. Ah, Reed Brignac. I played against Reed a lot. He was like a big prospect for the Rays, and then I don't... He got to the big leagues, but I don't think he ever did anything like crazy, but he was a pretty high prospect at one point. Randy Wells. Scott Deal. It's a good name if you're a pitcher. Deal. Yeah, Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder was a nice guy. I played against Prince a little bit, and every time I get, well, I shouldn't say every time. I didn't get the first that many times, but when I used to get the first base, he would always be very friendly and talkative and nice. Make you feel like you're a really good player, even when you're hitting 200. Um, so we played, we lost in the, uh, my senior year, we lost in the, uh, we had to play in the playing game for the super eight and we lost Derek Jeter. He wasn't a bad player. Frank Thomas, big hurt. Daisuke Matsuzaka. I played with Daisuke in Cleveland for a little bit. Faced Daisuke a couple times. Mike Cameron. Mike Cameron was jacked out of his mind. Mark Tian. I like these years of cards because these are all the guys like when I got a chance to play, I played against. Miguel Cabrera. 
oh, I remember this guy. Justin Ruggiano is a Dodgers kid. I remember playing against him a lot in the minors. Ryan Webb. Here's a former teammate of mine, Ryan Webb. Aaron Jensen. Uh, yes, I have played against the lasting mullage a good amount of times. Charlie Fermate. Fermate. Yeah, that would have been sweet turn double plays with Derek Jeter. Michael what? Michael Kadire. I know Michael Kadire. I don't know. I saw that last second. I couldn't see what that said. <laughs> that would have been. Uh, Laura's putting my daughter to sleep right now. Uh, on the instant re replay this year, I have not heard anything. Justin Morneau had some big years. The Greek God of Walks, Kevin Euclid. I'm going to say yes, baseball is resuming. Scott Kazmir. Sean Riggins. What's this right here? This is an A-Rod. Oh, back with Seattle. 135th home run. I like that. Eric Bedard. Steve Salmon. Jeremy Papelbon. That's... um. Is that Papelbon's brother? I think it is, right? Bradley Davis and Gilberto Mejia. I faced Jonathan Papelbon. He struck me out. Weird. Join the club, Jonathan. charm stock i don't know i haven't found my card yet we're still looking we got a ways to go we got a lot of packs left open if i can get them open i don't know why i mean i guess maybe because these are 13 years old they're just a little bit tougher to open up <laughs> i actually the one thing i did do well in my career was not strike out very much, but still some of these guys struck me out. Ted Lilly, Jake Peavy. Jake Peavy, one of the, uh, I got to play with Jake for a little while. He was like one of the most competitive pitchers ever. It was just a complete psycho on the mound in a good way. Marcus Giles, play with Marcus too, and Brian. Jimmy Rollins. Another A-Rod, 169th home run. Jason Giambi. I have not gotten my card yet. Nope. Scott Taylor. Matthew Sweeney. Any advice for a college baseball player? Um, watch my YouTube. Uh, why go to the YouTube, whatever position you are, go to that and our playlist. We've got a million of them. Adam Bass. I was teammates with Adam Bass. We called him Fish. Weird. Not really. <laughs> you got eight of my cards? I think I have a lot of my cards too, but... Pat Mahomes rookie cards? Well, I'm sure they're quite expensive right now. Still in the womb? I uh, just hope he's lefty.
Adrian Beltre, Adam Lynn, Randy Wolf, Corey Patterson, some more A Rod homers. A Rod apparently just gets to get a card for every one of his homers. Ichiro! No, they don't even put Suzuki on here, they just Ichiro. Cool. Doug Deeds. Mr. Deeds. Ryan Mullins. Gabriel Medina. Mike Parisi. Laura is upstairs right now. Still putting my daughter to sleep. Uh, there's 24 packs all together. We've opened probably about half of them so far. How many games? Uh, my original prediction was 70 something, but I feel like now we're gonna end up in like the mid 60s. Maybe like 64, 66, somewhere in there. Jermaine Dye. Brian McCann, Eric Chavez. I saw Eric Chavez hit a home run that was hit 8,000 feet over my head. Jeff Francis. I feel like I faced Jeff Francis. I think I did. Almost positive. A-Rod again, 149. Another Randy Johnson. Another David Hanel. TJ Nall. I mean, they keep giving me the same players over and over again. Am I in here or not? Cody Strait. Jesus Flores. I play with Jesus. Um, not necessarily. I'm not doing this for card value, by the way, but I'm just doing this for fun. I don't think these cards are worth very much money. <laughs> not yet, Cotton. Lord. <sighs> Matt's grip strength has gone down the toilet over the years. Hey, what's up, yo boy legend? Oh, I want to rip it right off. I need a video game mat over here to help me open these things. Put the soto? All right, I'll put the soto on. The next one I open, I'll put the soto on it. Uh, probably no Twitch after this one. I played Twitch last night, but or I played on Twitch last night. Alexei Casilla, Craig Monroe, Chad Tracy, Andre Ethier, Orlando Cabrera, another Jesus Flores. It's kind of a cool one. Randy Wells, Charlie Ferment. Edwin Mason, and I played again. I remember Edwin in the minors. And Chase Wright. Oh, I want Stidham to replace. If I mean, Hoyer, in my opinion, Hoyer's a nice, you know, he's a nice backup. He's a good guy to kind of mentor the young guys. But uh, it, let's say this. If Hoyer's the quarterback, I mean, Patriots aren't winning a Super Bowl. I mean, they're... Probably not winning one with Stidham either, but at least let's start letting them get some time. Hey, Matt, did you make, did my package make it to you? What's up, Dan? So I haven't been able to check just yet. I will probably check in the next couple days, though. I'm rubbing the cards with my Juan Soto. Now I'll just wave it over the top. What do players, what do scouts look for in players? Well, it just depends on the scout. It depends on the team. depends on the position. Ultimately, what are they looking for? They're looking for big leaguers. That's what they're looking for. Guys that will play in the big leagues. RC with from the NYC. What's up, Matt? Hey, Laura. What's up, Chad? How's everyone? Well, what I've missed. Um, you haven't missed anything great yet. I've gotten like 15 of the same players, and none of them are me. So 
But this could be the good luck one because we just rubbed the Juan Soto on top of it. So let's see if that changed our luck at all. Alex Rodriguez, speaking of A-Rod, there he is. Carlos Delgado. Ubaldo Jimenez. Ubaldo struck me out. Join the club. Pedro Martinez. Pedro didn't strike me out. I wish he had. Carlos Zambrano. Carlos was a little crazy, but... Cole Garner. That's a teammate of mine. Good guy. Eric Liss. Jesus Guzman. Abelito Hernandez. And Derek Griffith. Uh, how do I do both? Well, I'm probably missing a lot of comments. I'm kind of looking up and down, up and down, up and down. So, <laughs> Thanks, DC. So if I'm missing your, your comments, it's because when you comment, I'm not looking down at that point. If you send me your old glove, uh, yeah, I could do that. I tried to get Bo Bichette's and I lost out on a bunch of uh, eBay auctions so far, but how do you pronounce those four names so well? Uh, I don't know. I guess I played with a lot of foreign players. My God, I can't open it again. <laughs> These just don't open. Like, they literally... Uh, I did play third base... Um, a decent amount in the minors. Like, look, look at that. I'm like, I'm pulling as hard as I can on this thing. It will not open. I'm going to this side. Oh, wow. That side opened easy. Hey, thanks, Steve. I probably did bid against you. Carl Crawford. Man, I love Carl Crawford. When the Red Sox signed Carl Crawford, he was such a freak athlete. I mean, I was always a little bit... Like, his swing was decent, but I was always like, he's just such a freak athlete. And then he was obviously horrible with the Red... Well, I, I don't want to say horrible, but he wasn't that good with the Red Sox. But I was pumped when he signed over. Jeff Francoeur, some pop. Tim Hudson. Tim Hudson struck me out a couple times. Ian Kinsler. Chuck James. I faced Chuck James a lot. I don't know why, but I did. Desmond Jennings. Brad Knox. I mean, they're putting the same rookies. They're putting these guys over and over and over again. How many Brad Knoxes can I possibly have? Yeah, well, it didn't turn out to be a good signing, but... Sandy Vasquez. Another Dylan Batances. He looks like he's seven years old right there. Dylan signed out of the Dominican at 11. And Spike Lundberg. I loved you in Little Giant, Spike. You were great. Oh, I only have an auto in this? Oh, man. Best advice for a father? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. My son's only five, so I'm learning fatherly advice now. Um, my dad pretty much just was there to not really have to push me because I didn't really need a whole lot of pushing, but it was just kind of there, I guess, to support as far as, you know, Throw me BP, hit me ground balls, like those type of things. Every time I asked my dad, you know, to play catch with me or whatever, he did. Tom Glavin. There's Jonathan Papelbon. Jake Westbrook. Carlos Beltran. John Lieber. Mike Percy, another Doc Cedric Brooks, Jay Garthwaite, Garth 
and Johan Pino, Daniel Marienzo, Matienzo, I don't know, spaghetti and the meatballs. All right, guys, what do we got left? We got eight packs left, guys. Uh, teammate with the worst attitude. I don't like honestly. I don't remember one having a bad one. Freddie Garcia, pitch forever. Ryan Howard. This guy was traded for a Rod. I played against him a lot. How do you say it? Joaquin Arias. I played against him a bunch of times. Jose Vidro. I used to like Jose Vidro. Back with who? The Expos was Jose Vidro with the Expos. <laughs> Did he play that long ago? Why do I feel like he's with the Expos? That can't be right, can it be? That can't be right. Oh, he was 15 years in the national system. It was right. That's where I remember him from. Todd Helton. Michael Young. Oh, Michael Young was a baller. I used to love Michael Young. Aaron Jensen. Sam Fold. Sam Fold was is a local kid. Maybe New Hampshire. Played for Lightning Baseball. That's who I played for growing up. Went to Stanford, I think. Brian Henderson and Matthew Clarkson. Matthew. Holy autograph, Matthew. What the hell does that say? That doesn't say Matthew Clarkson, I'll tell you that. And how small could it be? Yeah, that's what it looked like, didn't it, Dennis? Favorite beer? Um, I'm not really a huge fan of beer. One of our coaches always makes fun of me because I only will drink, like, fruity beers, like uh, Blue Moons and Coronas. J.D. Drew. Tatis Jr. I think Tatis Jr. was still in the womb when these cards were out. J.D. Drew. Carlos Guillen. Ryan Zimmerman. Josh Beckett. I faced Josh Beckett a couple times. He didn't strike me out, but I didn't get a hit off of him. Hmm, sounds good. Melky Cabrera. Hideki Okajima, I was watching actually today on, I don't know what it was, MLB Network or ESPN or something. Might have been MLB Network. They had uh, the uh, 07 ALCS Red Sox Indians. I was watching that today. Okajima came in. Filthy little like sp split change. Brandon Rice. Fernando Rodriguez. I have an auto in this series, yes. Andrew Dobies. Vic Butler. So it's not this. It isn't like this is like an easy. Um, my card is not the chances of my card being in here probably aren't super high, but there is a chance. So you're saying like one out of a hundred, more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Was it one out of a hundred? I can't remember the exact quote, but. Better chance of my rookie card popping up or me being able to open one of these packs of cards. Frank, I love watching you hit, buddy. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. Chiming Wang. I was teammates with him with the Nationals for a little bit. Then I watched a great, there's a great, uh, was it on Netflix? There's a great show or documentary on him. 
and his comeback. 2007. These are 2007s. Urban Santana. Ryan Sweeney. I played against Ryan a lot. Up oh, here comes Lara. Paul Can LaDuca. No, my car's not in here. Aww. Francisco Liriano. I liked him a lot, too. Barry Zito. He was a stud. Wait, but is Cody it not, Strait. Is it not in there? Lara Antonell. What? Oh, no, it's Adam Bass. Remember Adam Bass? Remember this guy? Um, Garrett yeah. Simpson. And Cole Garner again. Hold on, I have a question. I have an answer. Um, is it like not in there at all? You just haven't found it yet? Well, I only have like six more packs to go and it hasn't been in here yet. Although I think I am only in like an auto. Although I'm on this, look at this right here. Yeah. Scouting report for all the rookies in here. I'm on that. Are you on it? Why are you acting like this is like... Fun She's acting that. like a mom that's, oh, oh, you're on it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> she's not, she's not happy I said that, but I wasn't making fun because of her. Because Maddie would think this was really cool tomorrow. Maddie would do a Lou Brown and he'd, never mind. Where are you? I'm on the back. Garrett Anderson. I didn't, didn't make the front, no. Cole Hamels. Scott Rowland. Scott. Great. Great defense by Scott, too. All around great player. Joe Creedy. Remember him? I remember him. Andrew Jones. He was awesome. I'll have Laura open a pack. Great idea. Who said that? Billy. No. Billy, sweet Billy boy. I knew you would come back. Sorry, that's... uh. Billy Madison, All Gabriel Medina, start Wake Roberto Mejia, in the first Justin round. Ruggiano, Ray Aguilar. Hey, Laura. What? You want to open up this pack and see if you can bring me good luck? Come on over here for a minute. No. Why? Cause... Laura, no I'll, one's... I'll do the last one. No, no one's going to judge your fingernails. Come over here. I haven't had a manicure in months. That's okay. I haven't had a manicure in months either, so. I'll open the last one. All right. We'll let you have the last one. We have, we have four more. Save the best for last. Garrett Atkins? Yeah, I definitely do. The best memory I have? Uh, probably hitting my home run, my only home run. Jason Bay, former Red Sox. Hey, you should have cleaned the monitor on this. Um, What's wrong with the monitor? It's fine. It all dusty on the video. It's fine. Justin Verlander. I got a hit off Justin Verlander. That's my one uh, claim to fame. A little fastball, single in the six hole. Chad Billingsley. Great story about Chad Billingsley. High school game. Perfect game tournament in Georgia. Biggest tournament in the country. My team, the Ohio Warhawks, playing against Chad Billingsley's team. His team was loaded. They had Lastings Millage. They had Chad Billingsley. They had uh, Jared... Was Saltamaki on that team? Maybe. They had Jeff Allison, first-round pick. They had uh, they had tons of big leaguers. They had um, the fourth overall pick. What was his name from the Royals? I'm having a mental block. Anyways, they start Billingsley. It starts to rain. They bring in Allison, who's another first-round pick. We won, we, uh, I, we had one hit. I had a bunt. I had a bunt single, and we won one to nothing. It was awesome. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then we went to the finals against the, uh, uh, what were they called? Florida. I'm having a mental block right now. Anyways, they beat us in the championship game. Vlad Guerrero. I hear he's got a son that's pretty good. Derek Griffith. Florida Bombers. That's who it was that we lost to. Nick Swisher. I was teammates with Nick Swisher for a little bit. He's kind of crazy, but great guy. Awesome personality. Just a little hyper. Spike Lundberg. I still loved you in Little Giants. Irvin Alcantara. And Tony Paguero. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, were there only like 15 players in the big leagues during this time? Because I keep getting the same card. <laughs> uh, my, Niger Morgan was a very big hothead, yes. Biggest regret as a player? Uh, that I didn't play better. <laughs> I don't have too many regrets, though. 
<laughs> You're right, late night breaks. Maybe I'll get one or two in this one right there. Joe Blanton. I remember Joe Blanton. When I think of Joe Blanton, I think of like Phillies. I think of like number four starter maybe, but just like a solid, just your, like your standard righty, but I don't know why I liked him. Steven Drew. Steven Drew played at Florida State. And uh, when I was there, he was a freshman. I was a freshman when he was a junior. I used to go and watch him in BP every day. I was in love with him. AJ Burnett. Jim Tomey. Hey, John, haven't seen your card in this. David Eckstein, f former teammate of mine. I got to work a lot with Eckstein because we were both second baseman with the Padres. Unfortunately, he beat me out and I got sent to AAA. Brian Hansen. Mike Madsen. Former Gator, that's right. Steven Solomon. And Vincent Blue. All right, guys. Only eight made. Oh my God, then there's no chance it's in here. I'll do that, Wesley. If anyone finds a cool, uh, anyone finds a cool box or something, send them to me. I'll open them up and give a little dialogue. I haven't seen Ricky in here yet. Another Nick Swisher. Another Ichiro. Kiyagawa, this is the guy I face. I face Key a bunch. He wore glasses when I faced him all the time. He had sunglasses on. I remember it was really strange facing him because he had these sunglasses. And usually I don't face pitchers with sunglasses. Jason Giambi. Dustin Evans. Oh, there's an auto right there. Oh, that's nice. It looks like I'm not getting mine since we got a... Uh... Is this two cards stuck together? It is two cards stuck together. Sure you can. I got 15 of them. Jim Edmonds. I was teammates with Jim Edmonds for a little bit because we traded David Freeze for him. Bradley Davis. Ryan Shreppel. Hey, Will Venable. And Ryan Webb. These are two teammates of mine right here. Watch this, guys. I'm going to have Laura come in and open the last pack, and I'm going to show her this Will Venable. And she's going to go, Oh, Will. Something like that. And then she's going to go, I like Will. Watch. Hey, Laura. While we wait for Laura to come back, let's look at Will Venable. Bring it in here close. All Ivy League choice in baseball and basketball at Princeton. Seventh round pick in 2005. Hit 314 with 91 at Fort Wayne in his full pro, pro, first full pro season. That's where I met Will, actually, in Fort Wayne. He was drafted the year before me. So, uh, Padres minor league player of the year. I didn't know that. That's pretty good. Tremendous athlete. Good speed. Capable of scoring 100 and driving in 100. Hits for average and power. Smart player. Natural leader. All very good points. Co-captain of Princeton Bat basketball team that reached the NCAA tournament. Father Max is the former minor leaguer and current hitting coach. Max was actually my hitting coach. Max is like was a great guy. Alright guys. Last one right here. Let's rub Will on him for good luck. Sorry, Will, if I just ruined your card by doing that, but. Max played in the majors for a long time. Yeah, Max played like maybe eight years. Maybe more than that. So who wants, I got a huge stack of cards right here. Who wants these cards? I really don't need them. Yeah, sure. Rub it for luck. I don't know. I'm making stuff up as I go. Maybe we'll figure out a way to do a giveaway. Um, do I still keep in touch with them? Yeah, I still keep in touch with a couple of them. No Matt Stairs in here. 
Matt Stairs made me eat, um, what's it called? Vegemite. What? Oh, Laura, I'm down to my last pack. And here, I got this card for you. Hold on, I don't want to, you can see your reflection in there. No, you, no, no, you can't. Not from here, you can't. And I have it on the TV in the other room, too. You can't see the reflection, yes, Laura. Can. No, you can't. Like that card? Is that you got Venables card? Yep. Out of like that was your rookie card in there? No, that's just one of the cards. Oh, I'm gonna send it to Kathy. I'm sure they'll love that. <laughs> All right, Laura, sit down. No one can see the reflection. Just sit. yes, you can. Go no, look at the TV. No, I'm can't. serious. I'm not going just sit there. You have to open it. Well, they have to see you open it, Laura. They're looking at a computer screen. Well, aim it down. I can't move it. No, you can't move it. I can't move it. You got to put your hands over there. Oh, my God. You can't open it. Parano oh, Laura can't open it either, guys. It wasn't just me. You're nowhere near. You're nowhere near. Oh, I did it. Up a little higher, down a little bit more. No, up a little higher. No, down a little. Up, up, just a touch. Right, down, down a little. Down, up, up, just up, up a little bit more. Up, there you go. Down a little. Yeah, right there. You read them. Jorge Cantu. Annabelle Sanchez. Did you get a rookie guy in here yet? No, Jeremy Hermida. I play with Jeremy. But isn't there supposed to be one in here? There's supposed to be, but oh, that's not supposed to be. That could be. Uh, Cliff Lee, Fred Lewis, Kiyagawa, Michael Sullivan. Ooh, that's a shiny one. Laura, if my rookie card's not in here, you have to show your face. Yeah, okay. Daniel, Matienzo, Spaghetti and Meatballs, Scott Taylor. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, and another Reed Brignac. You got two of the same guy? Oh, I got like 16 of that Otnis guy or whatever his name is. Did you start on this? Yeah, I showed that. Oh, we had a refractor in here. Let's see a refractor. Which one was the refractor? You opened all these? Oh, yeah. yeah, 24 packs came in here. And you weren't in any of them? 24 packs and none. That's sad. You know why I'm probably not in here? I bet you people probably somehow secretly opened these and found my What's cards. because I background of like... I was probably the most valuable card in here, and they probably snuck mine out of all the packs. Probably. Um, what do these guys have here? Yeah, those like your valued ones that you want to just those, display? Those are my, that's my background because behind that was all the wires to the computer. Okay, well, Ed will see there you go. He actually signs it William. Does it say will or William? It says William D. Venable. All right, guys. Well. Hold on one second, everyone. Hold on. Uh, Brandon Guy, I played against Brandon a lot. Um, let's see. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here, everyone. How can I do this? Let me just do this for a second. He is a great athlete. All right, guys, we'll do this for a few minutes here. We'll chat for a few. Hey, Brando42, thanks so much. I didn't find my rookie card, unfortunately. We just finished, and uh, I never found it. The Eagle is, um, I got an award in high school for um, best athlete. So that's the, uh, the award they gave me because we were the St. John's Prep Eagles. <laughs> I guess whoever wins it. Uh, that's um, one of my creepy neighbors, I guess. Just kidding, in case any of them are watching. I don't think any of them are watching. Uh, yeah, apparently I could have a rookie card in seven. I could have a rookie card in nine. I have a 2009 rookie card. 
Uh, I don't have that many highlights, Jaffet. <laughs> I did not find my card, unfortunately, guys. Opened all these packs, all of these packs of cards. Hi, Coach Matt. I'm Takumi. Hi, Takumi. I'm Coach Matt. What's going on, Takumi? We're going to clean up all this so that Laura doesn't get upset. <laughs> Yeah, probably not getting that one. Do I have any of my minor league cards? Um, I do. How long did it take me to sign cards? Oh wait, hold on. Did I get a super chat, guys? I feel like I got a super chat somewhere. Oh, I already answered it, sorry. Um, depends how long it took me to sign cards. Like. Sometimes I sign for like tops and um, upper deck and stuff, and that could take quite some time if they, you know, sometimes they have a ton of cards for me to sign. I think Laura grabbed all my cards. They used to be in this desk. I think she moved them all. Yeah, I don't see them in here anymore. Uh, yes, I did have. I had a lot of dogs actually growing up. I had... Uh, <laughs> no Matt card. I had one, two, three, kind of four. What oh, kind of four? I had three dogs growing up, but then my aunt ended up uh, moving in with us to our house, and she had a dog also, so that made four dogs. Good point, David. Smart investing right there. Let me lower this a little bit if I can. My favorite book from this bookshelf. Um, I like Moneyball a lot. I got Moneyball on there. Let me see. Uh, let me see. This is when you know you're a baseball geek. <laughs> Was I a bust? It depends what you mean by bust. I was a first round pick that didn't play a long time in the big leagues. So um, I've talked about, I have a video on bust. Here's a nice, look at this old book, Weaver on Strategy, a guide for, I can't read, Armchair Managers by Baseball's Master Tactician, Earl Weaver. This is an interesting book. Let's see what I highlight. Oh, I highlighted a lot of stuff. So I just opened up to a page. I'm going to give you a little Earl Weaver wisdom right now. Okay. I'm not going to make any promises. That was one of my methods of dealing with players. No promises. None. If you don't make any promises, then you won't break any. Don't back yourself into a corner. Okay. Anyone that wants to manage, no promises. That's, a good, that's some good advice. Pitching and three run homers. Let's see. I'll give you guys one more nugget. Ryan Zimmerman. I actually played with Ryan Zimmerman a little bit. Um, great player. I played against him in college a lot. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. It's good advice. Let's see. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Couldn't cover my mouth there. My hands are. Uh, let me get you. Let me get you. Wow. According to Earl Weaver, the most important job a manager does each day is fill out his lineup card. The leadoff hitter should be someone with a high on base percentage, a guy who draws 70 or more walks and hits for a high average. My goal is to have as many players on base as possible when the number four hitter comes to bat. 
I like to get my best on base men in the first three spots of the order. Good thinking, Earl. Oh, boy, we have Earl Le Weaver Laws in here, guys. Let me read you. You guys want to hear Earl? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but... You guys want to hear Earl Weaver's Laws right here? I highlighted all of them. All right, Earl Weaver's Laws. Oh, here's his second law. What's his first law? Okay, here's, here's Earl Weaver's first law. When was this book written, guys? I think I spent big money on this book. Probably not. I probably bought it for a couple cents, but it's a good book. This book was written in 1984. I wasn't even born yet. I never did, unfortunately. Here's Earl Weaver's first law. No one's going to give a damn in July if you lost the game in March. True. I mean, it's spring training, but I guess there's sometimes games in March. Okay, that's Earl's first law. What's his second law? Weaver's second law. If you don't make any promises to your players, you won't have to break them. Earl is big on not making promises. That's a, I mean, I flipped the two random pages and both of them talking about promises. <laughs> Earl just gave you the middle finger. He didn't make promises. Well, I guess he promised to give you the middle finger. Weaver's third law. The easiest way around the bases is with one swing of the bat. So there's his three-run homer um, that he's known very well for. Weaver's fourth law. Your most precious possessions on offense are your 27 outs. I totally agree with that. I think most people will, but some people give away some of these 27 outs easier than others. Weaver's fifth law. If you play for one run, that's all you'll get. Yeah. Earl ain't bunting. I agree with that typically, too. Uh, yeah, I've seen Earl Weaver mic'd up. It's awesome. Earl's sixth law. Don't play for one run unless you know that want, that run will win a ball game. Another one. Don't bunt unless... I mean, if you're playing for one run, and it depends on the hitter and the matchup and all that, then you can bunt. But Then you could bunt. All right, guys. I'll give you one more, then I'll go to a new book. We should have story time with Matt. That might be a new, uh, new segment of mine. I'm not a huge sacrifice bunt person. I'm very, very, very rarely sacrifice bunt. Um, I would mic myself up. That would be fun. Except this year I'll be wearing a mask, so I don't know how easy it'll be to mic myself up. Here's Weaver's seventh law. It's easier to find four good starters than five. Yeah, I guess that's why I don't like the bunt. I have uh, Earl Weaver's book in my bookshelf and Moneyball. Earl's eighth law. The best place for a rookie pitcher is long relief. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to put this book back. Let's see if I have any other interesting ones. Now here's an interesting one right here. Ron Polk Baseball Playbook. Now this book right here, this book is extensive. Extensive. I mean this book, this book will tell you anything you need. To, like if you need to know like, the examples I was just going to give might not be appropriate for YouTube right now. But if you want to know anything about baseball, it's in this book. Like, Ron tells you how to tie your shoes. He tells you, like, how to buckle your belt. He tells you everything. There's no detail that was too small for Ron Polk. I didn't pull my rookie card, unfortunately, no. And some of this stuff is not, like, earth-shattering. But if, especially if you're new to coaching... Um, I think this is really good. Even if you're not new to coaching, I mean, this covers everything. Rosenbagger, Gardenhoser. Hope you and your family are well. Thank you, Nathan Bodenheimer. 
I appreciate that. Thank you for super chat. Oh, guys, hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. Sorry, I was going to grab a book. I was trying to grab um, Dirk Hayhurst's book because I was in there a couple times, but um, my bookshelf over there, it has a lot more books than this bookshelf. And uh, I don't know why, the ones over there, I didn't put them all in like this. I put them one on top of the other and you can't see what book it is. I don't feel like taking them all down, so. Um, I don't think I will play in an adult softball league, no. The eating portion. Uh, let's see. What other book? This has nothing to do with baseball, but... If you want to be get into investing, then you must get The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. I mean... <laughs> chapter I mean, it was pretty funny. Yeah, some of it was kind of embellished, is that the word? But, um, yeah, this is Warren Buffett's uh, teacher. So, if it's good for him, it's good for me. I got a lot of notes in this book. This book is, look at this book. Oh, my Lord. I got a lot of investing books all over the place. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I have that somewhere. General Mills should spam watch this. I do like hockey. Oh, I just realized. I don't know why I pulled out a little Bob Knight book right here. Uh, I didn't find my card, unfortunately, no. Um, I thought about writing books, yeah. Everybody has which book? I didn't find my card. No, I just realized actually that I never finished this book. Sometimes I do this. I open a book up, go through, and then I realize that I have a highlighter stuck in there. And uh, I stopped reading this book, so. I'll have to go through it. That's right, Joseph. I did truck that kid. <laughs> can I drive a golf ball 300 yards plus? Uh, yes, I believe I can. Not, I don't know about right now, but I could. I used to be able to hit a golf ball really far. Actually, if you type in, um, if you go, if you, you're on YouTube right now, just type in Matt Antonelli golf swing and a video should come up of me driving a ball. Commissioner Manfred? I don't know. Um, I think this whole thing is, I think the whole, all these negotiations and everything, I think there's a, I think they're more complicated than everyone gives it credit for. Like 
everybody just everybody says that every commissioner stinks and you know everyone says that we should have been playing a long time ago everyone says like just make a deal and you know i think that's all really easy to say but um and with that being said i don't follow it enough i mean i thought i thought the astros thing was probably not handled in the best way um I was probably more upset about that than I am about the way these negotiations have gone. It's hard for me to criticize them though, because I don't follow every, like, unless you're doing that, unless you're involved in all these talks, you don't really know what's going on, you know? Just like as a player, it's so easy for someone to just be like, oh, this player stinks, I'll get rid of him, get someone else. But unless you're playing, or you don't really know how difficult it is or what, you know, you don't know anything technically. That's why as when I watch football, I, I'm a huge football fan. I try not to be like, this guy stinks. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, what are we doing? Why are we like, because I don't know anything. I'm not there. I don't. <laughs> but that's just my thought. I mean, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do say, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> but then I realize, then I calm down. How much trouble did the wolf pack give you? Like the North Carolina state wolf pack? Yeah, I heard about that. I hope they play football because that's what I like to watch in the fall. <laughs> that's all I do in the fall, football. Uh, I don't know if NC State gave me that much trouble, but uh, tonight I'm not turning into your chat. <laughs> I'll give you a senior quote. It's probably going to be from either Lou Brown or Jimmy Dugan. Uh, we're talking about really nothing in particular, just kind of blabbing. Favorite place to eat in Winston-Salem was... Um, I'm having a mental block right now. I don't keep up with Noma, no. Hey, Laura. What was that restaurant in Winston-Salem that was my favorite restaurant? Fratelli's. See, I knew Laura would remember that. She's got the mind of a steel trap. But if you're ever in North Carolina, if you're ever in Winston-Salem, try out Fratelli's. Very good. Make sure you get the salad there. Calamari. I go calamari. Then I go with their salad. Then I go with, um, well, there's a couple different things I guess you can get. They got a lot of good stuff. They got some good Italian stuff. It's like an Italian steakhouse. Yeah, they also have steak though. Chicken parm, good stuff. <laughs> You're right. Uh, yeah, I've been to Oklahoma City. I've been to, I don't know if it's called Chickasha, 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 Chickasha. I don't know. I've been there. Oh, you're an hour away, huh? I have been to Kentucky. My roommate in college, Josh Ellis, was from Lexington, Kentucky. So I've been to Lexington a lot. Uh, been to Louisville a lot. Been to, uh, where else in Kentucky have I been? <laughs> Uh, I am Italian. Chickasha? Is that what I said? I usually call it Chickasha. I don't know if that's right or not, but. Bricktown. More game reviews? I'll try to get that for you. Is that friends with any fans? I mean, I talk to them and stuff. Chickasha? Oh, Chickasha. Not Chickasha. Yeah, I like Slugger Field. Yeah, for sure. I never found the rookie card, no. I have not read that. Reminiscences? Reminiscences? 
from the stockbroker stock operator. I have not. Knoxville. Uh, I haven't been to Knoxville actually. I've been to Nashville. Yeah, Louisville Slugger Museum. I've been there a bunch of times. Yep, been to the Louisville Bat Factory a bunch. Chick-fil-A is really good. <laughs> last time I went to Fenway, last last summer. I did not read Mariano Rivera's biography. This is a bull market. Turn two, thanks so much for the super chat. I thought the draft this year was good and got a lot more attention than it normally does. Do you think it will continue to get the same attention? Um I don't know. Did it get more attention than usual? I'm not sure um, if it did or not. Maybe because there were only a few rounds, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Maybe because everyone's been locked down for a lot. Oh, well, at least we were in this area. Uh, maybe, I don't know. That's a good question. Albuquerque? Yeah, I've been to Albu I played in Albuquerque a bunch. Hi, from Providence. I've been there a bunch. I've watched Gordon Ramsay shows, yeah. I've been to almost every, I, not every city, but I've been to a lot of cities. Furthest west you've been, as far as in this country, I've been to as far I've been to the Pacific Ocean. Um, I've gone over the Pacific Ocean and went to China. Texas Tech, uh, sure they got a chance. Um, it's tough to say without really knowing anything about the travel team or the, any of that. It's really tough. There's so, there's so many different teams out there. I'd have to really know more about it. Did you have any of your Anthony baseball players get drafted? Not this year. We didn't. Last year we had two. No restaurants open in mass. Well, at least not for indoor seating. You can sit outside. Pittsburgh? Um... I haven't been in Pittsburgh enough to really know Pittsburgh. That is one city that I haven't, like, I've been through Pittsburgh, but I haven't really stayed there for a long time. Uh, I played ball in China, but that was just a game. I've played baseball in Canada, but I've never, like, gone to a country to play a bunch of games, like, in a league or anything like that. No problem, Andrew. Thoughts on the season? We're going to have a season, hopefully. I think we're going to have a season. The only way we don't have a season, in my opinion, is if all of a sudden, like, COVID continues to get... I mean, some states are really struggling right now. If it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and it gets out of control, that would not be good. But Will you ever tell us why your weight coach didn't like you? Um, It's a great question. I should have him on. I should ask him to come on do a little thing with me. I don't know if he didn't like me. I don't think he liked my mental makeup. I was very quiet. Um, never got mad. Very kind of reserved. Um, and he was kind of the opposite. He was very emotional, kind of loud. I think he thought that I was a, a really good player. But I think he thought that if I was more like him, that I would have been better. I think it made him mad that I wasn't. Um, I remember he used to ask me, like, why don't you just, like, throw something, like, smash a helmet or throw a bat or do something when you get out? Why you? Why do you just come back to the dugout and just sit down? And I was like, I don't know. I, I think I just said, like, I don't know. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking, I thought I wasn't supposed to throw helmets and stuff. And I never really had the urge to throw a helmet. So, for some reason, he never liked how I did that. Um, he always was trying to get me, like, angry. And I was getting angry at him, but I just never showed it to him. Like, I wanted to punch him in the face a bunch of times, but I just sat there. I think he asked me to punch him in the face one time, and I just sat there. Uh, we're talking about my co one of my college coaches. <laughs> um, so, I was sitting there thinking, I want to punch you in the face right now. Um but I know I can't punch you, but I want to. <laughs> oh, cool, Travis. 
Now Lars done for the night. Thanks, Wesley. Uh, there won't be any baseball at Christmas, so they want to get this thing done because they know the longer we go, the longer we wait for playoffs, the more chance of a second wave and uh, all that stuff happening. So, thanks, DC. <laughs> You're right, RC. Yeah, I think they did, J.D. Drew. I mean, I think sometimes people take that as you don't care. But everyone's different. You know? Like, I was, the, I was the most shy player ever when I was younger. Really, even even in college, I was still super shy. And uh, I get mad, but I never, ever show it. Doesn't mean I'm not getting mad. Doesn't mean I don't care. No Phil Hughes cards. Manford? I don't know. I don't think he's as horrible as everyone thinks, but I do think... Um, I didn't fall. I haven't followed him enough all these years. I'm just kind of really getting into it now, so... Best college baseball conference? Well, I mean, the SEC is great. The ACC is great. Um... Those might be the two best. I would say those are the two best. One word to describe my college baseball career. I can't do it in one word. Um, my college baseball career was pretty good. Probably could have been better. I wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be. I mean, my junior year for the first half, I was maybe the best player. I'm not going to say the best player in college baseball, but I was one of the best players in college baseball for the first half. Maybe the best player. And then my second half was not that good. So at least not that good for me. Do you think the Pac-12 is the Pac-12 now is the best conference? Um, they're good, but I wouldn't say it's the best conference. I mean, the ACC and the SEC typically have the most teams in the tournament, don't they? That is pretty cool. That's true, Andrew. And everyone's going to be different. I think to be a good coach, you have to learn how to do that. Like, why is it so hard to be consistent? Well, baseball is just a tough, it's just tough to be consistent in baseball. Everybody will say, I wish I was more consistent. My consistency issues, I think, came down to my swing. My swing would, well, most players do, but mine would do a little bit more. It would be feeling great when I'm when my swing's feeling great I feel like I can't get out when my swing's not feeling great I struggle a lot so and that's not uncommon but some players are able to just keep a swing more consistent I probably relied more on skill or, or more on a natural ability or ability than you know than maybe my swing like my hand-eye coordination, very good. My plate discipline, very good. Um, maybe my swing wasn't the greatest. And so I know my swing wasn't the greatest. So you're not going to be as consistent. Somebody that has a great swing, you're going to be a little bit more consistent. Someone that can have a great swing and great hand-eye and all that stuff, then you become, you know, like a Hall of Famer. So... All right, everybody. Well, I think I'm going to go, um, it is like a thousand degrees in this room and, uh, I've been, I needed to get some sleep. So I think I'm going to go get some sleep 
But thanks everyone for hanging out and watching me open up 24 packs. I didn't get my card, but I'll go look for another box online somewhere that has my rookie card in it. Uh, I tried to, but didn't didn't get it. But we'll try again. Anyways, I gotta make a bunch of videos I need to make tomorrow, so I'm gonna throw a bunch of YouTube videos up tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna get some sleep so I can get up and do that. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, I'll go Wake Forest just because I went there. We'll talk to you guys later.